For computers to understand any of the modern code languages that we have, they have to be translated, just like how English has to be translated to Japanese. But what is the most direct translation? Well, in today's video, we'll be covering the language that the hardware actually speaks, assembly and machine code. Let's get started. Every program begins as human readable source code, but the CPU doesn't work with that. It only understands low level instructions. A program called a compiler translates your high level code into low level instructions that targets your processor's specific instruction set. These instructions can then be represented in two ways, as assembly language using text mnemonics or as machine code using binary numbers. A tool called an assembler handles the direct conversion from assembly into machine code, a perfect translation between text and binary. The key takeaway is that they represent the exact same instructions, just written in different formats. So now let's take a closer look at the binary format and start decoding what those ones and zeros actually mean. Machine code, that binary format is highly structured. Each family of CPUs has its own unique blueprint for the structure called an instruction set architecture or ISA. Each instruction is made of two main parts, the op code, which specifies the action to perform like add, move, or jump, and then the operands, which specify the data or memory locations to use for that action. So this string of binary digits, unreadable to most people, is a perfectly clear sentence to the CPU, such as add the value from register two to register one. And in assembly, that same command becomes readable, add R1 comma R2. That readability is possible because of a crucial principle, that the assembly text and the machine code binary are really just two sides of the same coin. This is the most important concept to understand. Assembly language isn't a separate stage in programming. It's a direct representation of machine code written in a human readable way. In most cases, there's a one-to-one -one relationship. Each assembly instruction corresponds directly to one machine instruction. There are two different dialects of the same language, one for humans and one for the machine. When an assembly instruction like move R1 comma five is written, it's the direct blueprint for the binary that tells the CPU move the number five into the register labeled R1. Registers are tiny, incredibly fast memory cells built right into the CPU. That's where all the actual calculations happen. And so now that we know where the work happens, how does the CPU actually act on these instructions? Well, it all comes down to a constant rhythmic process. The CPU runs on a precise rhythmic pulse from its internal clock. With every cycle, it performs a repeating sequence of steps called the instruction cycle, fetch, decode, and execute. First, it fetches the next instruction from memory, then it decodes the binary to determine the command, and finally it executes that command. Each tick of the CPU's clock drives part of this process. Billions of these instruction steps occur every second. The computer isn't multitasking in the same way we do. It's executing one operation after another billions of time per second. It's an incredible feat of engineering. But beyond the technical marvel, why does understanding this process actually matter? Understanding the relationship between assembly and machine code isn't just trivia, it's the foundation of how computers truly work. Take cybersecurity. When a new piece of malware is discovered, analysts rarely get the original source code. What they do get is a compiled executable, which is just pure machine code. To understand it, they reverse engineer it into assembly, the human readable form of those binary instructions, so that way they can see exactly what the CPU is being told to do. That's how security experts uncover how a program behaves and build defenses against it. And understanding these foundational layers separates someone who just uses technology from someone who truly masters it. Every click, every frame, every instruction, it all comes down to a CPU executing a sequence of simple, elegant operations. Now you know the direct link between the code that we write and the binary that the CPU executes. And I wanna give a big thank you to the viewer that left this comment that gave the idea for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep growing.